Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Tarot Monthly Horoscope for March 2019 and this is for you coming from Virgo. Firstly, let me give you my email address which is andyhoro9, A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O 9, the number 9, at gmail.com. Send me an email and I'll reply to you. Now, firstly, I'm going to tackle the first 15 days of March for you. And the first card I pull will be to do about your job in the first 15 days of March. And this is a terrible card. It's a card that warns you that nothing is, is secure where your job is concerned in the first 15 days of March. Mistakes made are going to give you a very bad reputation and the finger of blame will come pointing right at you. So if you value your job, in this first 15 days of March, you have to be very particular in communication, in calculation, use facts and figures and logic. Otherwise, things are going to go very, very wrong in the first 15 days. And you will be even in a danger of losing a job or getting bad news coming to you. Let's talk about your business. You coming from Virgo. It's a, it's a bad card, basically. It just says, expect losses. Well, having heard this, you want to minimize your risk where financial situations are concerned. You don't want to invest. You don't want to grow. You don't want to expand. You don't want to trust people who want to put money into your business. So just stay as you are. Just struggle for these 15 days. It's only 15 days that I'm talking about, first 15 days of March, because you're going to have your back to the wall with this card shows. So play safe, hold on to your money, and uh, just see these 15 days through. A very depressing card for you. Now I'm going to talk about your romance area. Let's see what this card says about a new romance possibility. And yes, a new romance will come. Two complications. One is about money. So watch out that this person may be in needs of money and having a bad time where finances are concerned and could be deep in money problems. Or could it be you that I'm talking about? And so this new romance don't go after somebody just because financially you're not doing well. That's what this card says. What about the ongoing romance that you have? Let's see what this card says. This card says that most of the problems in the first 15 days can be repaired. They are not major. So avoid what's on the surface. Don't make too much about it. Talk into deeper circumstances with your ongoing romance partner and you will improve the romance very nicely. A much better card for your ongoing romance compared to a new romance that you might find. Let's talk about your marriage areas now. This is a card of partnership and bonding. So it's a good card. But it's a card that says you are sitting, both you and your marriage partner, are sitting on issues which are most disagreeable to each other. So one way would be to tackle your problems yourself and let your marriage partner tackle the problems himself or herself. The other could be to show support and appreciation in these first 15 days of March. And that way at least a bonding will still remain. So don't take the hard way, take the soft way. Now your last 15 days, uh, you coming from Virgo. Well, it's a card of improvement. So the last 15 days improve, but they improve slowly. So take your time as days go by in the last 15 days where your job is concerned. Improvements are seen. Work your best. Show that you are dedicated and you will see the improvement will come and the safetyness of holding on to your job will also be there. So you have to work extremely hard in your job area. Let's talk of your business area, how that goes for you. <laughs> it says money going out, not money coming in. And the possibility of money coming in is not very soon. So you don't want to move into new areas of business. Don't want to expand the business you have. Don't want to add on staff. Don't want to just 
it's also a planet of ego here. So don't want to, for the sake of your ego, want to move forward. You can have depression in your area of business, it says. And this is the card I'm talking about with the black moon. So be positive, play safe, hold on to what you are doing. It's only 15 days, last 15 days of March that I'm talking about. Now regarding your romance area, and let's see if you find a new romance in the last 15 days, what happens? Oh, the card says it's somebody you've known from your past that would want to be involved with you in the form of a new romance. But it's a very touchy one and it's a one that's going to create problems for you. And so it's also the card shows the signs of ego. So don't let your ego be getting away with attracting somebody you found attractive because it can lead later on to disappointment or depression in the last 15 days of March. That's what the card says for you. Now about your ongoing romance. Let's see what this card says. The card says, if you find your ongoing partner very dominating, you have to cure it. And how can you cure it? One way is to get out of this ongoing romance that you have. The other way is to put your foot down and become firm. Because it's a card it's called the devil, but it doesn't mean the devil. It means somebody wants to dominate you and control you, which is not good. So in these last 15 days of March, you will have the chance to put your foot down or to get rid of this problem in a very severe way. So it's a very severe card saying that you'll have to face the music and get things your way one way or another, or you're going to be stuck under the control of somebody. Let's talk about your marriage in the last 15 days. You coming from Virgo. It's a card that says improvement can be made to your marriage by putting aside your ego and not trying to dominate. Otherwise, this card also says that you can be isolated where your marriage is concerned and it will be a very unhappy 50, last 15 days of March. So if you want the happiness, you have to definitely take the very soft approach and not show your ego and that way you could be luckier. Now you coming from Virgo, I'm going to talk to you about your lucky ages. There are some people of these ages that I'm going to mention that are going to be extremely lucky in any area of their life in the whole month of March. Well, looking at the signs of planets and zodiac signs, I'm going to say that you coming from Virgo, if you happen to be the ages of 17 or 26 or 35 or 44 or 53 or 62 or 71 or even 80, you're going to be very lucky in some area of, of your life in these 30 days of March. Not in every area, but in some one area. And so focus on what you want and you'll be able to get what you want. If you're not of these ages, you'll need to see me for a 90 minute session, which will cost you USD 50 to know your next seven, eight or nine years based on your date of birth, time of birth, and looking at your palm, we'll talk about that later. Now I'm going to pull a card regarding your lucky dates. There'll be certain dates in the month of March and these lucky dates for you are the fourth the 13th, the 22nd, and the 31st of March. In any area of your life, something spectacularly good can happen for you. So focus on what you want on this wonderful 4th, 13th, 22nd, and 31st, and you'll become very lucky in some area of your life or another. Now regarding your lucky colors, every planet rules different colors so when you wear a certain color you open a channel of energy to that planet who controls that color and the color which i will choose for you with this card is the color dark blue so wear plenty of dark blue and you will have the attraction of some of your best planets you coming from virgo and that way you'll be very lucky so wear plenty of dark blue and you'll get luckier and luckier and the last thing i've talked to you about is your lucky direction. There are nine planets surrounding us, so when we look north, south, east or west, we are going to face a certain planet. And for you, I'd like you to face, to face the direction of west. 
for inspiration, for good luck, to help you in any area of your life, face west and ask for help from those planets which are sitting in the west area for you for the month of March and you'll become luckier and luckier. Well, I have a 90-minute session and this 90-minute session will cost you USD 50 and based on your date of birth, time of birth, looking at your palms, I will talk to you about your next seven, eight or nine years and age by age, calendar, year by calendar, year and I'll give you your personal lucky lottery numbers based on all this information, your lucky days, your lucky gemstones, your lucky colors, your lucky directions, a lot of information so that you get your next seven, eight or nine years perfectly under your control. If I'm not given you my email, it's Andy Horo 9, A N D I H O R O 9, the number 9 at gmail.com. Thank you and goodbye.